Good morning and welcome to the 6th of December. Bit of a better face this morning, although um, I'm feeling just as bad, if not worse, because what makeup does in a hairband. Um, so yeah, usual Friday, we're on our way to gymnastics and library and all of that and then we'll see what the day holds for us don't really have anything else planned oh the carpet fitters are coming today to fit the uh, carpet in the ensuite so that's good and yeah kind of getting there looking forward to a nice hot bowl of i've got lemony when i go home Georgie's face was an absolute picture when she arrived this morning. I couldn't really, I tried to vlog a wee bit of it, but I couldn't because I had all the Christmas carols on in the background for her coming into the house. So, you know, music and YouTube and all of that. So she was really quite excited and she really got excited. Snowman! Snowman, yeah! Well, you haven't switched the yet, I know, ah, yeah, and, the, and Santa. And, um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, she saw her bauble uh, on the tree of herself and she got even more excited when she saw that. I'll try and show it to her again. I didn't even show it to her. I actually forgot about it and she just went into the tree and she noticed Anna's on the tree and then I could see her looking for one of herself and uh, yeah, the excitement was priceless. Okay, we are home. So uh, we've chosen our books. Georgie's enjoying a little cake and making a lot of mess, as you do. I sat on Georgie's juice in the car, so I've had to get changed. Um, not very nice. It was all squelchy till we got home, so I rushed in. Got some clean clothes on. I actually put on my new Zara trousers that I exchanged. There we go. That's the outfit. And you can tell when I got these that they'd never been tried on. They were brand spanking new. Just got my socks over them just now. So I'm now going to enjoy a nice a bowl of soup. I've got it heating just now. There it is. Lovely. What? What are you doing, Georgie? You cleaning your mess up? Lily's, Lily's helping you. <laughs> Clever girl. Here are the books I picked up for Georgie from the library. I want my books. You want your books? Here we go. I've got lots of books for you. I've got some Christmas books as well. Look. I love you, Father Christmas. Look. Look at this one. My well, yeah. My yeah, I got a pop up Christmas one. There's a pop up Christmas one too. Okay. You're welcome. These are the books. There we go. Just give them to Georgie just now. And she can... There you go. You have them. Have a look at them. Yeah, I'll read them to you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> just put them down, down there. Good girl. So, whilst I was in there, I saw this. Delia Smith's winter collection so I was going to take this out on my car just to kind of have a look at it and the librarian said to me that it wasn't one of the books to be taken out yet because it hadn't been registered but it was a book that she had brought in don't know how that works and they were going to make it part of the library collection so she just ended up giving it to me so I scored a book at the library. See if it's any good. There we go. Okay, I need a coffee. Well, that line's closed. So, I'm going to open my advent calendar. There we go. Let's see what. Ooh! Ooh! This looks nice. You want to open the other kind of well? We'll open it after because you've had a chocolate cake now. I'm going to have my Christmas cup.
Did you put it? In my cup. It's in my cup. I've uh, used right. it. The best thing for you make in these shop rooms is to make a shot coffee and fill it with water. Okay, Rico. Is it super soap? Yeah. yeah. Honestly, it's hard for me to taste anything right now. Seems alright. Nice, I needed a coffee, so it's good. Blue covers are ready for the carpet guys coming in. And they wash as well, by the way. I wash these ones. They're not like kind of plasticky. They're that kind of soft material, so they wash. So they're reusable. Let's have a wee cake with this. I think I'll share this with Georgie. Would you like a bite? You never left me very much. Can I get the bite? Can Bapu get a bite? Can Bapu get a bite? You haven't been a in your mouth. Suppose, suppose not. <laughs> suppose I won't get a bite. <laughs> George has been entertained by the Christmas tree and Santa. That's one. Oh, Papu, George is going to get your chocolate advent calendar. Okay, let's think about this carefully. We need what five, number, number five and six. So Papu... We're not done five. No, we didn't do one yesterday, you just... Okay. Right, watch, sit down. Here we go, I found number five. Number five is that one there, you open that one there. Can you get it? No. no what do you mean no? Well, I'll start it for you. Right, you do it now. You open it. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, yummy. That's a super yummy one, isn't it? Right, help Bapu open his one as well before you have the chocolate. Mm -hmm. So we need number six. Yeah, Bapu find number six. Uh, do, 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 do. Like that one. <laughs> I have you're holding on to her. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm looking for number six. But yeah, but I can't see Georgie because you. Can you find six? It's my advent <laughs> calendar. Did you tear it off again? You've got Georgie the game done it. <laughs> help Bapu find number six. But push struggling. Nine, two, four, seven, eleven. When you open that one, Let's slowly. Right, so back a little bit. Wow! Oh, I think that's for Georgie that's that a one. Fudge. Right, a so fudge you give you give that one to Papu, and you have that one. Okay, yeah, I can have this one. Okay. Well, I have this one. Right, gonna open it for Georgie first. Right. <laughs> You're such a child, Rico. Right. This is number six. Let's see what we've got today. Oh, is that a tough one? That looks like a red or a rosy. What's oh. that? White? Hmm. Carpet de Age. Don't know what it is. Coats de Thau. <laughs> Thau. T H A U W. It's French anyway. Ooh. Looks a bit rosy. It look, Doesn't know. it? No. Maybe it is a rosy, maybe it's a very light rosy. Uh -huh. No, it looks white. I'll have to look this up. It's a <coughs> project of France. I think they're all French. Uh, I'll look it up, see what it is, what the grapes are. A new one on us. Okay. It's pink, so if it's nice, it's for me. I tell you what, you can have this one. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in the fridge. Okay. Shut it down, down. I was looking for you. Do you want to come and do your advent calendar? Now, Lily, you need to find number six. Where's number six? Where's number six, Lily? Is it here? Wow. There you go. There you go. Can you get it? Oh, 
Georgie's all excited because she's watching the lights getting put up, aren't you Georgie? We've got man on the roof. Where is he? There's a man chatting down there. And the lights are going up there. And another man. Yeah? Is it funny? Yeah. She is so excited. And you? She was sitting at the window ledge. Chatting away. It's because we had it's because we had the window open. <laughs> She's too excited. So that's the lights getting put up. All we need now is the carpet. We're still waiting for the carpet men to come up. George is away outside with a bapu because she is loving this. Absolutely loving it. I actually had her sitting at the window there talking to them and she's having a ball. She's too excited. A bapu's taking her outside without a jacket on. <sighs> Typical man. Let me go and get a jacket. Come and see them. Can you see the lights? I can't. I don't know. I can't see the lights. Oh, wow! <laughs> and down there, look! See them all down there? Wow! Are they lovely? <laughs> Are they lovely? Is Bapu at the window, look? Hello. <laughs> okay, everybody is away. The lights are up, the carpet is in, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and the house is a mess. George is away home with her daddy, but everybody's away. Rico's away to pick up my estrogen prescription. Always a mix up, I kid you not. All week I've been waiting for the prescription and anyway, so Rico's away to pick that up from the doctor's surgery to drop it off at the pharmacist. But anyway, so meanwhile, I'm going to tidy everything up. So it's just a tidy up and I hope I'll show you first of all before I start tidying everything up. Um, the ensuite and the mess of my room. Oh, it's just mess everywhere. So I don't know if you can see that. So it's so all... To be hoovered so I'm going to start off with the kitchen and work my way up with the hoover because that's what you do <laughs> nail varnish on my nails while Rico was uh, entertaining Georgie because you know me and nails I can't bear I can't tidy nails oh, right that iPad can go away there and my nail varnish this can go there oh gosh Newspaper. A newspaper. Does anybody ever buy newspapers? This is my neighbour's paper. She's away just now. She's asked us. She forgot to cancel her paper, so she's asked us to pick them up. I was just thinking there, you know, back to this prescription palaver. I always used to have this carry on with my mum's prescription until I asked to see the manager at the pharmacist because there was always a carry on every time I went. So repeat prescription comes out set day of a month i'd go there half the order would be there and half the order wouldn't be there with the month's prescription and you know when you're looking after somebody with dementia and you're working full time and you've barely got time to breathe the last thing you want to do is to go and pick up medication and it's not ready and i knew and i said to rico you know when i went in with my prescription for my estrogen the doctor had already said to me, it's going to be a repeat prescription. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the pharmacist will have it on repeat prescription and I would go back. So when I went back, they said to me, they couldn't work out when, remember there was a, a pro, I don't know if I said to you, but they, everybody was unsure of the dosage 
and then I kind of read the leaflet and everything and it was two pumps of my oestrogen so um which meant that one whole pump thing would last me for a month and I thought but just as we were approaching the end of November there I thought oh I need to phone the pharmacist um because I'm due my prescription on the 12th so I just remembered actually at the beginning of this week which was what the first we're now on the 6th so Rico went at the beginning of the week and said to the pharmacist uh, can we please have the prescription a month early and change it to every month as opposed to every two months? Yeah, not a problem. We'll get in touch with the surgery and um, we'll order it in. And it should be in Thursday. So nobody phones me up. Nobody gets in touch with me to let me know that whatever's happened. So I remember today, so I phoned the pharmacist and I said, is my prescription ready? Oh, I don't know, let me have a look. No, it's not here. And then they start giving you all this rubbish, you know, just to kind of pass the buck, basically. But I'm not one that allows people to pass the buck, you know. I want answers there and then. So basically she's right, let me phone the surgery and see what's happening, see whether where the um, prescription is rather than her putting it on me and let me do the chasing no see i've done this i've been there i've done it all with my mum so she phoned the surgery and apparently my prescription is still at the surgery and hasn't been ar arranged for it to be transported to the pharmacist so i have to go and pick it up so rico's away picking it up now Rico's a lot more easy going than I am. But he's away picking it up just now because I wanted to stay and tidy up. So, and I said to him, tell them to make sure that the prescription goes directly to the pharmacist so we don't have this problem again. Although I know there will be because I know with my mum. So he's away to pick it up from the doctors and take it to the pharmacist. I don't know if they're going to have this in stock. But time will tell and I've told him to tell the doctors to make sure that um, they send it directly to the pharmacy. <laughs> I've repeated myself a hundred times, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed and I've got the code and I'm, an, I'm, I'm just annoyed and I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. But it's actually looking tidier just by moving those things. Right, let's carry on tidying and uh, enough mourning. <laughs> flask that I take to bed with me. It's the soap, sits there, just sign this, just shine here, 
and that's all my sponges. Then I just spray everything with disinfectant, which is Zoflora, and that's how I do it. Okay, oh my goodness, I'm getting worse. It seems to get worse as the day goes on. Um, that's the kitchen tidied. So I'm just, I'm going to tidy everything and then get the hoover out. So everything is now tidied in here. So just a hoover and a mop. But I'm just going to just tidy everything in here. It's tidy. She doesn't really play in here. But I need a hoover because look at all those footprints. So I'm going to hoover. And just a hoover here. And just going to tidy away her toys. And a quick hoover. And that should do it in here. Hoover. Keep, I keep. I need to stop calling it a Hoover. It's a vacuum cleaner and it's a Dyson. And I'm not sponsored. Now we have nice lines instead of the footprints. So that's the dining room done and the lounge done and the kitchen's done. Right, now for bedroom. the rest of the house. Hey? Bedroom. See? This is the real Rico that you all love and think is wonderful. Did you hear him? Have you done the bedroom? I'm just asking. It's, yeah. just, it's a simple question. Why are you going to do it? If you want me to do it, darling, I'll do it. But the question, answer to the question is yes or no. Am I super No. Did you, <laughs> did you see this house when you left it? It's not, the same house is still here. Right. Right. Let's carry on. <sighs> Okay, so I've hoovered in here, and whilst hoovering, I noticed, look, he's forgotten to cut this part of the carpet. Oh man, can you see it? Oh, and those were the flowers that I bought to disguise this crack right there. So they do the job. Right, I'm going to move all these down now. Just tidy everything up and give them a call about that. Never ending. And just to address the fact as to why I put carpet in here is because my son questioned me on it. It's because normally what happens is the excess from the bedroom is normally used in this on sweet here but for some reason this time the excess didn't fit don't know if it was to do with the carpet fitter the measuring of the carpet I don't know but every time I've had a carpet fitted in here the excess is used to fit in there so I just get it done and really I'm the only one that uses the shower in there because we've got the big shower in the main bathroom and I only kind of use it when I'm not washing my hair and it's really the place that I use more than anybody else so there's no males in there peeing on the floor it's basically what I'm seeing so that's why it doesn't bother me to have carpet in there because I look after it basically so 
yeah that's addressing why this carpet looks a lot of people would say why have you not got tiles or kind of hard flooring in there but that's why because it's normally the excess but that hasn't cost me any more because they mismeasured right let me finish off this room and I'm finished job done now I am going to go and taste that wine that Rico took out of his advent calendar Ta -da! oh look this is still up down you go Hey Lily, let's go. Good twittering, Rico. No. Right, let's try this. Did you look up anything on this wine, Rico? I couldn't really find anything. It's mo I think they, they do a rosy. Right. Okay. A rosy is quite a sweet rosy. That doesn't really look rosy. I think it does. It? To me, I said that right at the well, start. Maybe it is a rosy. I thought it, it does have a bit maybe of a rosy. rosy. It's a very, very light one, if yeah, it is. Light, yes. Blush. Almost. You want to open it for me? I just took a slice of cheese there. See, it does have a rosy tinge to it. Have a yeah, sniff. It does. Taste, tell me. What to make of the smell? It doesn't smell sweet. I think it smells a wee bit okay. Okay? You tell me. It's definitely medium. Okay. It's definitely not dry. Right. It's not sweet. Right. Right. So it's medium, okay. It's medium. It's okay, I could, I could drink it. Well, let me have a taste. Did you not taste it? No. Well, I thought you tasted it. No. That's enough, it's okay. I don't have to just have a wee, a wee, a wee soup song. A wee soup song. It's not strong in one way or another, is no, it? No, it's not. I wouldn't. If I saw a bottle of that, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> Definitely not. Not for What's me. What's the uh, alcohol percentage of it, just out of curiosity? 12. Whoa, 12%. there you go. It's the quiet ones you need to watch. Okay, now we are off out. We are going to go and visit my friend Gulla. Mm -hmm.